Most pumps used by water utilities are powered by alternating current motors due to their smooth power output and high starting torque. Alternating current flows in one direction and then it reverses and flows in the other direction on a continual basis. A voltage is produced by rotating a conductor through a magnetic field. This produces a voltage in the form of a sine wave. As this voltage produces current flow, the strength increases from zero to a positive peak and then turns downward toward zero. It continues past zero and goes to a negative peak and then returns to zero once again. This is a complete cycle. There are 60 cycles every second on the United States power grid. This is the frequency of the electrical system and is expressed as 60 hertz. Graphically, here's how it looks. Starting from zero, the sine wave approaches a maximum peak at 90 degrees of rotation. As it continues around, the sine wave goes back to zero at 180 degrees of rotation. It then continues down to a maximum negative peak at 270 degrees of rotation and it makes its way back up to zero at the 360 degree rotation. And this is a complete sine wave from zero back to zero. Well, This next slide shows graphically how as the electrical AC generator rotates what the sine wave looks like. So here you can see as the generator rotates round and round the sine wave peaks up high and then it goes down to a negative peak and passes through zero continually. This is the AC sine wave that's the result of a rotating AC generator. Ohm's law shows the relationship between voltage, current flow, and the conductor's resistance in an electrical system. So we can write the formula volts equals the amps times the ohms, or the current flow times the resistance. A volt is a measure of electrical pressure and can be compared to the measurement of water pressure. An amp, or an ampere, is the measure of electrical current flow through a conductor, like water through a pipe and an ohm is the measure of the conductor's resistance to current flow like head loss in a pipe. Motors use magnetism to generate the rotational force required to power a pump. An electromagnet can be created by wrapping wire around a rod and flowing current through the wire. North and south poles are created by the current flow. As current direction changes, so does the polarity of the magnet. A simple motor can be created by placing a rotating magnet near an electromagnet. As current flows through the electromagnet, which is representative of the stator windings, it creates a magnetic pole that attracts the opposite pole of the magnet, or the rotor. The magnetic field created in the stator rotates and the magnet attached to the rotor follows the rotating magnetic field. In larger motors, both the stator and rotor magnets are electromagnets in which the magnetic field is produced by current flowing through the wire. The speed at which the magnetic field rotates around the stator is called synchronous speed and is expressed in revolutions per minute or RPM. Motors have a maximum RPM of 3600 since the electrical system operates at 60 Hertz. Sixty cycles per second times sixty seconds per minute equals 3600 revolutions per minute. A two-pole motor can achieve 3600 RPM, while motors with more poles will operate at fractions of 3600 RPM. For example, a four-pole motor will operate at 1800 RPM, and a six-pole motor will operate 
at 1200 RPM. Synchronous motors operate at the above speeds, while induction motors operate at a speed somewhat lower than synchronous speed. Induction motor speeds equal a two-pole, about 3450 RPM, and a four-pole, about 1750 RPM, while a six-pole will operate at about 1150 RPM. Motor speed can also be controlled by electronic motor controllers, which makes it so a single motor can operate over a wide range of speeds. Most motors draw more current during startup than they do during normal operation. Locked rotor current is a term used to describe the current drawn by a motor the instant it is powered on while the rotor is stationary. Starting current is another name for this initial power surge. The starting current is typically 5 to 10 times the normal operating current for most motors. At startup, the current draw is at its maximum, and then it lowers to its normal operating level as the motor comes up to its operational speed.